what is up guys we're back and i got the vlog that i promised you guys right here so uh i actually have some footage that i filmed and i'm voicing over it uh so hopefully that's not a bad thing but i feel a little bit of the hurricane now if you don't know i live in an island island in the caribbean it's like 27 miles long seven miles wide so it's very small very tiny uh, the island cannot take anything like we actually had a category three hurricane back in 2004 it absolutely decimated the entire country like you know uh, my personal home that i lived in at the time uh, destroy you know the roof was gone the walls were gone uh, my father's cars he had a uh, coaster he had a couple vans destroyed gone windows were bashed in flipped over uh water damage so it was by the hurricane that we had back in 2004 uh so we were quite concerned about this although it wasn't directly coming to the island uh this is a very small island very flat surface like i said the uh, widest point is only seven miles long so it only takes a couple waves to get across the entire island. So uh, we were actually quite quite, uh, quite concerned about that. But uh, overall, it uh, it wasn't as effective as you thought it was going to be. Uh, the winds peaked at about 75 miles an hour, which isn't uh, that big in terms of wind speed, uh, if you consider what the worst hurricanes can bring. Uh, so we weren't in danger. Uh, the waves got quite rough. The ocean was definitely quite rough. Uh, there are parts of the oceans where... Uh, you can see seaweed just like came up on the surface. So, uh, you know, pretty much what happens is that the current is so strong on the bottom of the ocean, it literally scrapes all the seaweed on the bottom and brings it to the surface. And the seaweed was on top of the ocean. It was actually in the road. Um, there's a wall that, that protects uh, anyone going over the ocean, of course. So uh, seaweed was covering that wall of the uh, part that we have in the island. And uh, there are caution tapes around certain parts of the island because that's like a warning area because like you have the road here. The ocean's like literally right here next to the road. It takes one wave to like engulf a car. So uh, caution tape was placed there uh, to warn anyone from going there and driving on uh, the area. Uh, I, I drove there. I shouldn't have done that. But I just want to get some good footage for you guys. Um, and there's some people who were playing the ocean. And, uh, you know, that, was, that wasn't, I guess, smart. But it wasn't as bad for us. Uh, you know, like I said, the winds were kind of eh. Uh, the ocean was quite rough. But it wasn't like that bad um which i'm grateful for um so you know everything was fine on my part in terms of the hurricane and uh you know damage and whatnot but i do have family in florida i do have people that i uh, care for in florida and uh they're going to be getting the blunt force uh, trauma of the storm and you know um that does suck i've been through my hurricane like i said uh, back in 2004 uh hurricane ivan you know decimated my entire country decimated my entire house it just like i think i was with electricity for about uh four months um, I had to drink water out of a bag, like literally a plastic bag. Uh, they were delivered to us on a ship, and we would buy bag water for like five dollars uh, per bag. So uh, I did that for a couple months as well. So I've ex I experienced a hurricane. It was it was horrible. It really was. Uh, had to bathe in like you know outside naked, uh, cold water. You know it was uh, quite bad. So um, if this hurricane hits Florida like that, then I feel those people I really do. I see a lot of people who don't care about it. Like, if it doesn't happen to you, then I don't care, which I understand that. You know, we all came into the world by ourselves, so we're going to leave by ourselves, of course. So, uh, it's quite fine. It's quite human nature for you to not care about anyone other than yourself. But, you know, it's kind of sad to see when disasters hit. Uh, other people literally just don't give two shits about other people. And uh, I just wish the world was um, uh, more loving, uh, more um, coming together when uh, tra tragic events hit. Instead of, you know, uh, just saying, you know, I don't care about that, you know, just maybe uh, give prayers out. Like, I know a lot of people don't believe in God. Uh, people don't care about, you know, prayers and worship. But, you know, just uh, some type of, you know, um, I guess positivity into the universe, uh, wishing uh, goodwill on other people. I feel like that does help on some level, but people just don't do that. People just don't care about uh, the, long, the health or longevity of anyone else. As long as they're fine, as long as they're okay, nothing else matters, which, once again, I understand. It's human nature to care about yourself because you have to take care of yourself. No one's going to take care of you for you. I understand that. But once again, if the world was uh, more loving and more caring to each other, then these issues wouldn't be a problem. Like half the issues we have in the world with uh, war, with uh, drama, with, you know, jealousy, uh, lust, you know, all this would essentially be uh, lessened or dissolved if we came together and loved each other and we were there for each other in a better way. And Situations like this, you know, Houston got devastated by Harvey, you know, Florida is about to get devastated by uh, Hurricane Irma. Perfect opportunity for the world, not just the U.S., but the world to come together to help each other out. Um, in this case, maybe donating to a charity uh, or maybe just reaching out, you know, to people, uh, wishing them, you know, safety. You know, that by itself is positivity. 
it takes one person to uh, cause a notion. And uh, it's very unlikely that that's going to spread, but at least they're trying. And uh, people just refuse. They really refuse to uh, do anything positive. They really do, and it's kind of sad, honestly. But uh, I'm going to do the best I can to uh, wish those people in Florida good luck. And I wish them safety and wish them um, all safety, of course. And I don't want anything bad to happen to anyone because uh, losing a loved one, like, you know, you have to understand that we're all, people have mothers, fathers, brothers, sisters, uh, daughters, sons, you know, people have loved ones in this world. And uh, someone might die who you don't care about, but someone is greatly affected to where they're, you know, uh, devastated. You know, they're, they're depressed. They're uh, low-key contemplating suicide. Like, these things are real, but people people don't care. You know, I, once again, it's human nature to care about yourself. But if we were more loving towards other people, then this world would be a much better place. Because the world itself has so much, so much beauty, um, so much amazing things to it. The only thing that ruins the world is people. And that is just so unfortunate. But, hey, man. I uh, hope everyone's safe in Florida. I uh, hope all the uh, Harvey uh, survivors are, you know, just... I, I can't really say anything to, like, help you guys out. I can't. I just... I wish you guys safe. I really do. Because it's, it's uh, devastation. It really is. And uh, it's unfortunate people don't come together in these time of need. In times of need. But... Uh, it's just sad, man. It's sad shit that's going on right now. But anyways, uh, enjoy the rest of the vlog. Uh, hope you guys, uh, you know, enjoyed this vlog here. It's not really much of a vlog, but you know, I guess it's part of a vlog. Uh, yeah, so hope you enjoy the rest of the clip. And uh, I'll see you next time. And uh, yeah, bye-bye. Okay, so interesting addition to the vlog here. I'm going to, boom, uh, cut my hair. Yes, I cut my own hair. At least I tried to. You know, save save like twenty dollars, whatever. Uh, so I'm gonna just do that. <laughs> what? Hmm. Well, now. This is actually quite interesting. I actually watched myself. I mean, I watched myself, but it's like, you know, let's give myself an old man cut right now. Let's, let's see. Let's, let's, let's see how we can do this. Let's. Huh, very interesting. Very, very interesting. <laughs> I look creepy. I, I look, oh my god. I look so creepy. Uh, uh, just, just, just why right now? Just why right now? Like, what even? You got the thumbnail? So, I'm gonna finish cutting my hair. And uh, I'll be right back. So give me a second. All right, guys. So here we are. So I'm um, shaved, head, face. You know, just just clean myself up. So there we are. I don't like growing hair. Um, it's just annoying. Like when my hair gets too long, I gotta put gel in it. I gotta condition it, shampoo it. I just get kind of lazy, and I don't even want to deal with it. And mustache. And, uh, just, I like to be clean. I like to be clean right now. So suppose keyword supposed to be going to the gym, but. I think the camera's there, but I'm looking over there, so it's kind of like weird, but supposed to be going to the gym, but I got some stuff I need to do, so I don't think the gym's going to be happening, so probably going to just do some at-home push-ups and sit-ups and whatnot, so don't think you're going to see anything gym tonight, but hopefully tomorrow, eh, maybe, maybe in the next vlog we can do some gym stuff, guys, but I think this is where I leave it off, so a bit of a hurricane update, a bit of me shaving my head. And uh, talking to you guys, so yeah, I don't know how I feel about this vlog, but let me know how the vlog went, guys. If you guys enjoy this type of stuff, if you guys want to see more vlogs, let me know down below in the comments. Leave likes. The more likes I get, the, the more I will know that you like this kind of stuff. I'm sorry I'm not wearing a shirt, but I just shaved my head, so if I was wearing a shirt, it would have got all over the boy, and uh, I don't want that to be a thing, so you know, gotta, I already showered and everything, of course, but um, let me know down below if you like the vlogs, guys. Uh, not the typical vlog because we're talking about the freaking hurricane and everything that's going on I'm shaving my head. It's not the typical vlog, but if you want to see more of this, you gotta let the boy know down below. If you gotta let the boy know, so thank y'all for watching. Please like, share, comment down below. If you've not subscribed, make it a thing and make it happen, guys. Uh, we're gonna be live streaming, I want to say, a couple hours as of this video going up. So you do want to be looking for live stream, guys. Fun stuff going on. I uh, will be creating a Discord, and uh, if you want to know how to get into Discord, Come to the live stream. You're going to see how to get into the Discord. So, yeah, I'll see you next time.